everyone, this is Mel from Sniper Central. Welcome to the first edition of Sniper Talk, located in the Sniper Central headquarters here in beautiful Victor, Montana. Now, one of the most common questions we get here at Sniper Central is, how do I make my rifle more accurate or more capable for long range shooting? And you know what? The actual answer to that question is to change the person behind the rifle. When I mean change, that means make you a better marksman. So what we're going to talk about is just take the core fundamental of marksmanship, the first one, and that being the steady position, and that being the first of the four being steady position, sight picture, breathing, and then trigger squeeze. So we're just going to talk about that steady firing position and how you might be able to optimize that and become a better marksman. Now in order to do that, I've brought in my assistant, Brian, and he's going to help us out here. So if Brian, if you would assume the position behind the rifle. And we're going to talk a little bit about assuming the most core fundamental marksmanship position for us as long range shooters and that's the supported prone position. Now normally as snipers or long range marksmen we always want to assume the most stable position we can or that the situation affords us. So lots of times that might be if you're in the standing but you can go into the kneeling position you assume a kneeling position or if you're kneeling you can go sitting assume the sitting position or ultimately if you can do it assume the prone supported position like Brian has done here. So first the what we want to do is to get directly behind the rifle. So what Brian has done here is he's lined himself up directly in line with the bore of the rifle. It goes right down through his shoulder and down through his leg. By assuming this position, it allows his body to absorb the recoil of the rifle so that after he fires that shot, the rifle is going to come out of battery quicker and he can assume a follow-up position or assume position to take a follow-up shot much quicker. And so with this position, Brian has also made sure that his heels are down. As snipers, we want to make sure that we're not flagging anyone by keeping his feet up. Nothing looks like a raised hill in the wilderness besides a raised hill in the wilderness. So he keeps that nice and flat. He has his body completely behind and lined up in the rifle. And so now we are going to start talking about what do you do with using the rifle and assuming this position. So what Brian has done is he's taken the butt of the rifle and he's put it in the socket of his shoulder. Now where is the socket of your shoulder? The easy way to find it is to hold your arm out like this, just take your hand, put it right there, and then close your arm and you'll feel your shoulder just kind of clamp on to your hand here. Well that's your socket. So you put that socket, or the butt of the rifle, into your socket, and that just makes sure it is nice and snug in there, but you don't want to be clamping it tight because you'll end up shaking. So what Brian is doing is he's taking just these couple fingers on the pistol grip of the stock. He's applying light pressure back so that the rifle is into his shoulder. And then that's it. You don't want to do too much uh, pulling there or too much pressure because your muscles will shake and that introduces movement into the rifle. From here, he takes his thumb on his shooting hand and he just gently lays it over that stock. Again, don't squeeze. You don't want to introduce any muscle, muscle tension. His tr trigger finger is laid to the side of the rifle. It's just gently there until it's time to fire. And then his offhand, you can t t see his offhand, he has taken his sand sock, and what a sand sock is is just right here. It's just a sack or a sock that has sand in it puts it under the butt of the rifle, he's setting the rifle on that sand sock and that allows again to minimize the actual muscle or human body contact with the rifle. The most unstable part of this whole shooting system is the human body itself. So by minimizing the contact it allows the rifle to be more active. So Brian using the sand sock he can squeeze it or release it to raise or lower the rifle just like he demonstrated there. And that can allow you to raise or lower your aiming point without a problem. Moving to his head, he's taken his cheek and he just literally takes as much cheek as he can and he lets it fall and rest completely on the stock of the rifle. Again, that minimizes any stress in the neck muscles so that there is not any movement. Again, that is the whole point here. Now, as snipers and long range shooters, we may be in this position for hours and to allow your neck some relief from just sitting there trying to hold your head up is paramount and critical. 
So with his cheek completely rolled, he has, are supporting his head on the rifle. With that, his eye should be lined up with the scope so that he got, has the full sight picture. If it is not, as you can see, this particular rifle on this nice McMillan A5 stock it has an adjustable cheek piece. If you don't have that, there are some options here. You can have strap-on cheek pieces that you can buy at SniperCentral.com or other places, or you can even use these Karsten uh, Kydex ones that can be attached permanently to the buttstock of the rifle. And so that will allow you to get the perfect eye alignment with the scope while resting your full weight of your head onto the buttstock of the rifle. And with this all set up like this, the rifle resting on a bipod or sandbags or whatever else support you have up front, Brian has now assumed a good, solid, stable shooting position that will allow him to be the most accurate possible. And that's what we're going for because consistency equals accuracy. Consistent in this position, he's going to be more accurate.